Hey, Craig here. So in this video, we're going to be making the fence for the punch table, right? All right, I've gotten the material cut to length here. I've uh, cleaned up both edges here. Uh, now what I have to do is uh, machine uh, two slots in here and machine out uh, this portion of it right here. Okay, so we're all set up for the first operation, which is going to be this left slot here. Okay, well that was a little rough breaking through the bottom on this side over here. I'm not really sure what to do about that. Um, I'm just going to run it again. Um, now this side's basically the same as the other side, just on the opposite side, so... All right. Okay, well, I think that was definitely the most Mickey Mouse setup I've uh, had to do so far. So I realized I had an error in my design. Um, I'm actually going to have to mill out a portion of this on this side here and just have three quarters sticking up here. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to read the, uh, the tape measure, the scale, on both sides to be able to set the, uh, the, the distance off the punch. So... I'm going to go ahead and mill that out. Uh, same feet, and actually, I'm probably going to do it uh, 20 thousandths depth of cut on uh, this side. Uh, here, I just had to do 10, so. All right, there it is, all finished. Just have to clean it up a little bit. I just used some sandpaper on the edges like I did on these other ones. Alright, well let's get it set up on the punch table here and see how it works. Right. Okay, well this is probably something I should have done while I was doing the table itself. I should have designed it into it when I was doing Fusion 360, work on it. Um, but, you know, I've got to have it on there, otherwise you're sitting there with the tape measure trying to, you know, set the corner on this. So it's going to be a lot easier with these on here. I got these from McMaster Car. They're like two bucks a piece or something like that. I got the plastic ones. The the, the These are a stick-on. All right, well, I've got to put three of them on here. There's going to be two on the sides over here. Be one there, one here. You see, if I had drawn this, there's only going to be like an eighth inch of material left in here because I actually have to machine down maybe ten thousandths. Uh, otherwise, when this is sliding across, it's just going to mar it all up. So I've got to recess it down. The this one is going to have to go on here, I guess. Otherwise, I'd have to put like a bunch of them here, and I'd have to 
take out too much there. So what I'm going to have to do is line the, the zero up with the edge of this and then make a mark on here, the center line. Okay, so since I have this mounted on the vise, I can't access this corner right here. I'm outside of my working envelope, so I'm going to be sending my zeros on the center of this hole here. Okay, when I feel it, it doesn't seem to be very deep, but... When I put it right on there, it doesn't seem to be scratching it or anything, so... I don't know, it almost feels like this is a hair higher than this still. Okay, well the calipers confirm the depth of it at uh, 11 thousandth of an inch, so... I don't know, maybe it's just the thickness of the backing on this. Once I peel it off, it'll be okay. So the center of this ruler is going to line up with the center of this hole here. I know the center of the hole is 1.5 inches off here. I've got my caliper set to 1.5. I'm just going to come off the edge and make a uh, scratch mark, a light scratch mark. and do that on both sides All right. then I can go ahead and line up my zero on my tape measure on my ruler here with that mark looks like I can cut off some of this here Okay, I put a little piece of masking tape on there just to hold it in place while I test it on the press to make sure everything lines up. The way I figure things line up properly is by punching two holes and then spinning it around to see whether those two holes line up. As you can see, these are like perfect right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to put the other side on, and then I'm going to put one on here, and I'm going to make a mark, a center line mark on the center here. So uh, this is 12 inches, so I'm just going to measure in 6 inches and make a mark and use an awl to scratch a line. The, uh, Masking tape isn't staying on here very well. Uh, probably because there's still residue of oil in there. I've got some acetone here that I'm going to use to clean it up before I actually stick them on. Alright, at first I was wondering how I was going to be able to see underneath here to see that scratch mark. It's kind of dark under there, hard to line it up. But there's actually a a window right here used to like put an allen key through to uh, to tighten up that bolt underneath uh, but I think that's gonna work out perfect to be able to sight that in there I'm gonna have to like pull the whole unit back off the press to be able to sight that but I guess that's what it has to be. So we'll set this to one and three quarters. So I buy, eyeball this at two and three quarters. Let me uh, put it on the press and give it a go. Okay, so I got uh, two pieces here that were cut closer to exact length uh, for measurement's sake. 
Uh, there's always some slight variation on the exact length they're cut. I think I have to square up my uh, shear a little better. Um, I got we've got 96 of these to punch, so right. okay. Let's see how this works out here. Okay, so those two obviously uh, lined up there. Let me flip it around. See how close we are. Looks like we're a hair off in the, the length here. Okay, well here it is, all finished up. Finished putting the rulers on there. That worked out pretty good. You can feel it's a, a hair below, so yeah, that worked out good. We got two rollers, one on each side for adjusting this way. And that one right there can be eyeballed through there. I just glued that on the top. I'm not sure how well it's going to stick on there, but uh, I guess time will tell. It's been working out really good. It uh, punches holes really fast. <clears throat> you know, as long as you don't drop this down, take this back up too far. You know, if you just go up and down just as much as you need to. In fact, you can see some of the slugs in there. We just let the new slugs push down the, the older slugs there. You can see I just uh, milled out extra here just to make it easy then I can adjust it as need be, so... Uh, I just stayed with the Phillips. I tried the the, uh, the torque screws, but for some reason they weren't going down in far enough. I'm not sure, but... Alright, well if you like this video, I'd uh, appreciate the thumbs up. Uh, feel free to leave any comments down below. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe, there should be a subscribe button over here. Uh, if you'd like to support us on Patreon, there should be a link up here. Uh, as well as some other videos over here you might like to watch. Alright, well thanks for watching.